Right now at 11, it is the second marathon meeting for the school board in a week. This one over vaccine mandates. We will hear from parents and we'll have details on what's happened so far tonight. And the Caldor fire closing in on Lake Tahoe. Families talk about the difficult decision deciding what to take and what to leave behind. We'll give you the latest stats on the Caldor fire and show you just how quick that fire did grow near Tahoe. Yeah. And take a look at the tanker that overturned on Highway 95. We'll tell you how long it took to clean up this mess, plus why it was so dangerous for everyone involved. The end of federal unemployment is days away. The supplemental boost, how businesses across the valley are hoping for relief for staffing shortages. And how much will COVID impact tourism this weekend? Local businesses weigh in as gas prices reach their highest in a decade. We are local Las Vegas. Fox 5 News starts now. Topping the news at 11, the CCSD special board meeting and the potential COVID-19 vaccine mandate for school staff. Dozens of passionate people took the podium tonight pushing public comment up until about an hour ago. And now the board is hearing from doctors on this issue. Fox 5's Lauren Martinez has been at the meeting since the start late this afternoon. So Lauren, what can you tell us tonight? John, I do know that the board just finished hearing from those doctors from the health district. Before that, there was public comment that stretched on for five hours. Now, freedom of choice is the main argument made by a lot of speakers tonight against the vaccine mandate. Now, if the board votes yes, the district has because listed out what will happen. As I can. Uh, Superintendent this Jesus Jara will develop a plan. They will have to develop a process to seek exemption for medical or religious beliefs. They will have to categorize contracted personnel like third party employees. And lastly, they will have to develop compliance incentives and some kind of discipline for those that do not comply. Even the vaccinated among us support medical freedom, as you've heard. No one should be forced to take an experimental drug and no one should have to choose between their job and the jab. We have politicized this vaccine into an argument about civil liberty and religious freedom. So let's talk about civil liberty. What civil liberty do these 654,000 dead people have? These 654,000 dead people have no civil liberty. We have extracted that right to liberty over a weak complaint for a mask and vaccine. I am anti-child abuse by making children wear masks all day. I am pro common sense. I am pro kids being able to play sports. If the vaccine is mandated, I will work until I am fired. I am for the safety and health of our educators and students of Clark County and support, quote, the 60% of district employees who have already completed COVID-19 vaccination cards. A statewide call out is scheduled to begin September 7th. We will all be calling out. Tonight, they heard from a lot of educators that work within the district. As I mentioned, public comments stretched on for hours, and the Board of Trustees just finished hearing from doctors from the Southern Nevada Health District. But we will stand by and see how the board votes tonight on this vaccine mandate. Reporting live from the Clark County Government Center, Lauren Martinez, Fox 5 News Local, Las Vegas.